Welcome back to the JW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. And in today's, epi- in today's episode, my goal is to talk about whether or not Mac Jones can be the next Tom Brady. You know, first of all, I just want to say I'm not putting this player at this high of expectations because that that is very unfair for a player. But you know, a lot. I, but you know, you see a lot of people comparing them. You know, because they're both very similar coming out of college. Um, you know, big the big difference is is that you know. One's, one has been in the league for 22 years and one is just coming into the league and one was drafted in, in you know, the sixth round and, you know, one is drafted in the first round, you know, so the expectations are much different, um, you know, but they're much, I don't know, it's kind of a weird situation with the quarterback, you know, because Mac Jones is probably the best situation that Mac Jones could have gone to because, you know, Bill Belichick, you know, he, he did a great job de- developing Tom Brady and making him a great quarterback. Um, the best quarterback to ever do it, um, seven rings, most of, more than any franchise in the NFL, which is insane, um, obviously six with the Patriots, and then he has one with Tampa Bay, um, you know, Brady has been one of the best quarterbacks for quite some time, and I think he's going to stay up there for a very long time, um, you know, it's very difficult to achieve what he has achieved, you know, even as a Colts fan, I'm gonna downright admit it. He's much better than Peyton Manning, you know. Wh- you know because, he, because you know he was awesome in the in the Super Bowl. He was uh, he was awesome in the playoff, and, and that's where you where you ultimately want your co- your quarterback to be best. And you want your quarterback to be the best in the playoffs, to lead you to the playoffs, to lead you to the Super Bowl, and to win, and to win in the playoffs and advance continuously. And you know, there's been none better than Tom Brady. None. No better than the playoffs. No better than the you know. There's just no better, no better, because you know he's made he's made it to as many Super Bowls as some teams have has never made it though as a whole team in their whole history, and Brady has made it nine, ten times in his twenty two, twenty three year career. You know something something around there. It's I don't know the exact, but but you know back to the real video topic now. You know comparing these two just coming out. You know I'm not really gonna put them in those huge shoes and those big expectations and more so just going to compare them coming out you know you, you see both of their pre-draft workout picks you know both of their workout picks are you, you know you don't see those guys as you know being prototypical you know muscle guys coming into the, NF, into the NFL you know um, but you know they both you know but one similarity I will give them both is you know they're both fairly accurate and they both have an, have amazing part amazing anticipation and they're both extremely, extremely well um, from the shoulder up. Uh, you know, Mac Jones. You know, he does have some inconsistencies in throwing the ball. Um, but you know, his he he's got it. He's le- lethal from the head up. You know, his, his, like I said, his his anticipation is up there with some of the best in the game. With some of the best in this draft class, um, probably the best, if not the best. You know, Trevor Lawrence probably has that. But you know, what I'm trying to say is that you know that's very similar to Tom Brady. You know, his. His arms are crazy. Neither are insanely athletic, but both get the job done within their head up, and they're very smart, and they know the game of football extremely well, um, you know. But but as we've seen with past years with, you know, Alabama quarterbacks and Tua is one of them that has really struggled coming out, you know. Granted, it, granted it was only Tua's first game, but, you know, I think Tua's going to become better. I think he's going to get better. But, you know, Will Mac Jones experienced those growing pains, Oh yeah, I like Tua. You know, you don't know. I I don't think he's gonna experience as much, but he's definitely going to experience some. You know, as every player in this draft will, as every quarterback in this draft will, even damn well near that Trevor Lawrence will. He will have some, you know, hiccups. He will have some growing pains, as everyone does, and that's how everyone gets better. It's how they learn. Um, but you know, um, will Mac Jones be the next time ready? Probably not. Um, but you know, will he be? Pretty decent and lead this Patriots team to maybe a playoff berth. Probably so. Um, to the playoffs, probably. You know, you you can never count out Bill Belichick and the Patriots, but you know, there's no Tom Brady there. Um, you know, and you and you you can say as much as you want about how amazing the coach was and, and how much he helped Brady, but ultimately, who was out there? Who's who was out there executing those plays? And that is Tom Brady. Um, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think Mac Jones is going to, you know, be another good quarterback for New England? Um, I'm not going to put him in the shoes of Tom Brady once again. It's more of a just saying, you know, 
comparing him coming out of college and comparing him, you know, to some of the similarities, except both have much different, much, much, much different expectations coming out of college. You know, one was drafted in the sixth, and that probably not even, you know, thought of to make the roster, probably not even thought of to, you know, really, you know, make a big impact even to to compete for the starting job, never mind go on and win six Super Bowls with the Patriots and then and then ultimately seven adding one on with the Buccaneers so maybe he has another one on you know you, you never count him out and he is officially the GOAT officially the best quarterback in the history of the NFL you know he's just got seven rings you know more than every single franchise it's hard to wrap your head around that because you know some teams haven't even made it to the Super Bowl. Some teams haven't even appeared. Some teams haven't even won a Super Bowl. Some teams have been there plenty of times, you know, but just can't get it done. You know, there's plenty of teams with only one. There's plenty of teams with only two. There's plenty of teams with three, four, five, six. But he has more than every single team in the NFL, which is completely absurd. Um, so, yeah. That's my thoughts on, you know, Mac Jones coming out and, you know, kind of everyone comparing him to Tom Brady. But what are some of your thoughts? I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. You know, and I thank you guys. I've been getting so much support on this channel lately. So I thank you guys so much for that. And I hope you all have a great day, a great night, whatever time it is. I hope you guys have a great whatever day of the week it is. Um, whether it's a week, a weekend, you're watching Sunday or somebody in the week. Appreciate you watching. And as always, I'll catch you next time.